Welcome, welcome everybody to another Community Fit. I'm James and I'll be your host for today. <clears throat> first things first, uh, Alicia and Raymond are not on the call with us today. They're off doing other work. So if you have any technical issues, unfortunately, there won't be anyone around to support that. But any questions you might have about the practice or so on and so forth, any questions you might have about your experience within the practice, stick around afterwards and I'd be happy to answer any questions that come up. Now, getting to it. If you're brand new to Community Fit, and in particular, this Move Lab Foundations class, welcome. We're glad to have you. Uh, only one rule to Move Lab, and that is whatever movement choices you're making, they are perfectly correct choices for you today. There's absolutely no wrong way to move, just a bunch of options. So I'm going to give you some prompts, and it is your decision whether to do them explicitly, as I've said, or to take and play with them. Um, if I say reach your hand here and you're like, no, thank you, maybe you don't reach your hand or maybe you reach your hand somewhere else today. All options and choices for you to play with. Since we're in Move Lab Foundations and it is the month of May, we're doing upper body specific stuff today. If you're interested in low body, we're doing that right now over in Move Lab Dynamic on Thursdays. And then we have our reset and restore class or rest and restore class on uh, Fridays. And that's all about nervous system work. And right now we're working with tension. So lots and lots of options for today. Go ahead and sit comfortably however you'd like. And we'll get started with our class. We always start off with a little breath work right into some nervous system regulation stuff that you can use along the way. Why? Because exercise is stress. It is positive stress. It is stress you've chosen. And so your body understands it differently than stress you didn't choose. So it gives us an opportunity to get better at understanding what does stress feel like in your body and what are some of these nervous system regulation exercises that you can do within your exercise practice that help build up capacity in your nervous system and stress management across the board and kind of um, lead to whole body wellness. So oh, that's enough about that. Let's go ahead and get started with some breathing. We're gonna do some timed breathing today which means I'm going to count and you're going to breathe. And we're not going to do four, seven, eight. We're not going to do any other fancy ones. We're just going to do strict timed breathing. So when I say inhale and do a count, you're going to inhale to that count and then exhale to the next count. Pauses if we decide to do it. I don't think we're doing any pauses today. But it's also a lesson in listening to what um, you're being asked or invited into doing. And then how do you respond? So it's a listening skills as much as it is anything. If we reach a number, let's say your threshold is 10, continue to do that even if I go to 12. You'll see what I mean here in a moment. So you can breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, or whatever version works for you. Take an inhale to cleanse. Exhale to prepare. One more of those. Regular human being inhale. Exhale in preparation. And then together, inhaling to a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Inhale, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, inhale, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale like a normal human. Exhale. Bring your hands together, get them warm. Take your nice warm hands, place them either on your jaw, your throat, your chest, your belly, armpit, anywhere else that would feel good. Have a nice warm touch. Now you can keep that warm touch going or you can drop it if it doesn't feel good. We're in that nervous system regulation phase. So whatever feels good is the choice. And then we're gonna go into orientation where we're just looking around the space, objectively naming things in the room. Here that might sound like plant, plant, mirror, thermostat, pillow, foam roller, dog bed, window, door. You're just looking around your space. What's above you, behind you, below and around. Slowing down, intaking. Maybe even just listening to the sounds in the room. Here I hear a fan and some street noise, the sound of my own voice. And then lastly, let's get a little rocking side to side, left and right, a little bilateral sway. Knowing you can come back to any of these practices, however and whenever you need or want them. For now, let's go to hands and knees. Once you are on hands and knees, get your hands kind of not just underneath your shoulders, but see if you can migrate them to be underneath your armpits a bit. So if you were to draw a straight line down, your hands are more or less underneath your armpits. Toes can be pointed or tucked, whichever works best for you. And we're gonna unweight the hands, and then we'll weight the hands. Unweight the hands, and then put some weight into the hands. As I go forward and back, I'm thinking, how am I using my hands? Meaning, are they just relaxed? Or do you have a little um, awareness going on? Here that might feel like my fingers have pushed down. All five hands or all five fingers on both hands. In and a place where your hands are more or less underneath armpits. From there, we're gonna do a cat. Just drop my head, drop my tailbone, round. Now, because I'm going up, something's gotta be pushing down. I'm pushing my arms down. I'm pushing my knees down, dropping my head and my tail. Then I lift my head and my tail. I decelerate and let my back drop. I push down with my hands, push down with my knees, let my head and my tail drop. I'm in the shape of the cat, rounded. I lift my eyes and my tailbone, decelerating. Let my spine lengthen and soften. Here I am. Check. Are my armpits more or less over my hands, or have I migrated one way or the other? Pushing down to go up. And then release. One more. Push down to go up. And then release. <sighs> See if you can find a relatively flat spine from the back of the neck all the way to the tailbone, meaning neither cat nor cow. Take a look around your left shoulder for your left hip. Let that hip kind of move, let your eyes move, and then do the other side. Now, some people find it helpful that as I move to the left, I lift my left foot. I move my left foot out to the side and I take a look for that. So I know where I'm headed. I lift my right foot. I send my right foot out to the side and I take a look for it. So whichever version works best for you. One more of whatever you're doing to each side.
Give it a pause, give your hands a break. Do some flicking out of the fingers, maybe some wrist rolls, maybe some shoulder blade movement, because we're headed right back in. Hands are active, hands are more or less underneath the armpits. We've just done our cats and our cows and our side to side. So spine is gonna stay straight, shoulder blades are gonna pull together, Shoulder blades are going to pull away from each other. Shoulder blades slide together. Shoulder blades move away from each other. Notice the difference between the shoulder blade movement and a cat and a cow. Here, we're just asking for my shoulder blades to move away from the spine, forward the spine. Away from the spine, forward the spine. Last one. And then give it a break. Shake out as needed. Moving through the shoulders. Headed right back. Weight shifting, shoulder blades stay wide, spine stays straight. My shoulders are neither together nor apart, they're somewhere in between. I weight shift to my right hand, I weight shift to my left hand, I weight shift to my right hand, I weight shift to my left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand left hand. I find the middle. I try to stay in the middle. Maybe I'm even taking a look at the ground, keeping myself honest, and I reach my left arm without shifting weight anywhere, and then replace. Instead, I liberate or move my right arm somewhere, and then right back down. Left arm moves somewhere, back down. Right arm moves somewhere, back down. Left arm moves somewhere, back down, right arm moves somewhere, back down, left arm moves somewhere, back down, right arm moves somewhere, back down, left arm moves somewhere, hold, left arm threads underneath right, so much that that shoulder comes all the way down, back up, and replace, right arm frees itself, Threads underneath left arm so much that that shoulder really tries to touch the floor. Back up, replace. As I thread, can I resist the urge to weight shift side to side and instead simply lower down? Back up, down, up. One more each side, down, up, down, up. Now, if that's difficult, keep doing that. If not, left arm is free. Eyes look towards left hand. Left hand lifts, and in order to go up, something's got to push down. Right arm pushes, pushes, pushes. Reset. Right arm is free. Eyes look for right hand. I push down to go up. And then back down. Again. Again. One more each side. Last one. Take a breather. Shake out whatever you need to shake out. We're going to combine those last two movement patterns. We're going to go up, thread under, reset. If one of those phases was difficult, my suggestion is stay there and play with that. So here we go. Left arm is free. It goes up. Eyes follow it as it goes under. Touch. Reset. Right on. Up. 
thread to down, reset, left arm up, thread, reset, up, thread, reset, one more each side, up, thread, reset, last one, up, thread, reset. Give it all a break. Maybe here's a little breath, a little sway. When you're ready, down onto forearms. Forearms here, shoulder blade or uh, elbows kind of underneath your armpits. And I'm pushing down to go up. And then release. Push down. Release. Push down. Release. Push down. Hold. Keep pushing with the arms down. Lift your chin. Reach your chin forward. Immediately, I feel my whole body pulling forward. Keep reaching through the chin. Keep pushing down. Hold. Try to take the chin towards the chest. And you'll notice there's like a little cat action. Keep the arms pushing down. Uncurl. Keep reaching, keep lengthening, chin. Push down, chin to chest. There's a cat. Reach. One more. And rest. Open up to baby lizard arms. So that's arms out to the side, elbows lifted. If this doesn't work for you, stay in that sphinx position. I'm pushing right and left. Left arm pushes me right, right arm pushes me left. There's a little bit of sway, a little bit of fluid spine movement. And then I start to lift up. And I come back down. And I go up. And I go back down. Two more up and down. Last one. Over onto your back. This time, let your knees be bent. And we're going to take the hands and interlace them and put your interlaced hands behind the back of your head. Elbows are not wide. Elbows are not narrow. They're somewhere in between. Elbows really reach in whatever direction they're at. They're like um, lengthening lines. Not trying to squeeze together, not opening up. They're here. And I feel my shoulder blades get really wide. Armpits really wide. Collarbone really wide. All the things we've been working on. Back of my head pushes into my hands. I'm getting really clear about that. Hands do not push into the head. Head pushes into hands. Arms lift me up into a sit-up as my head resists it. My head is trying to push down. My arms are pulling me up. And then I'm back down. There's tension in the arms that pull my head that's resisting it all the way up. And back down. Three. Two. So much arm work. Last one. You can either just come up and back down or stay up. Hold. Right elbow tries its best to reach to the outside of right knee. Then left. Head pushing into hands, elbows wide for six. 
five, four, three, two, one, center, relax. Open up your arms. Keep your right hand where it is. Left hand does its best to try to touch right hand. Notice that my knees aren't falling. My knees are pretty much where I left them. Opening back up. Right hand does its best to touch left. Opening back up. One more each side. And rest. Both arms reach up. Feel your shoulder blades. Let your shoulder blades rest on the floor like two little feet on the floor. Keep those imaginary feet on the floor. Right arm goes behind you towards the floor without a foot, shoulder blade foot lifting. And then back up. Left shoulder blade foot stays grounded as you reach. And back up. You may not touch the floor, and that's not the point. The point is awareness. Where are my shoulder blades? What other choices am I making consciously and unconsciously here? If you've got that, both. Two. One more. And rest. Come all the way up. Turn back around to a hands and knees position. This time, keep your hips over your knees. Walk your hands as far forward as you can. Let your chest sink as your eyes look forward. And then sit back towards your heels, and you'll feel your hands kind of dragging back to you. That's the point of it all. Dragging, dragging, dragging. Notice this is a lot of what we just worked. My chin needs to be reaching. My arms are stretching. Sitting, sitting back. Hold. Walk your fingertips a little more forward. Press your hands down. And then send your body weight forward over your hands and hips towards the floor as your arms push down and chin reaches forward. And then go back. Maybe even going through a cat here. Hands stretch, stretch, stretch. Eyes look forward. Skin reaches. Starts to shift the weight. Pushing down. And then back, back, back. Now, if that's working for you, stay there. If not, look forward. Bend the elbows. Come in low, low, low low, low, and then pushing up, rounding to go back. I come in low, 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 pushing to go up, rounding to come back. One more of whatever you're doing there. And rest. Ah, let the shoulders move. Ah. Right back to hands and knees. We can't leave upper body without doing some kitty cat push ups. So we have 10 of wherever you're at, whether your imaginary bowl of water is here or however far forward. What have you learned today that you're going to apply to this movement? Just going down. And back up. Nine more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. 
Four more. Give it a rest. Finger flicks, so on and so forth. Go ahead and take a seat. Sitting with either soles of the feet together or a crisscross leg, whatever works best for you. Rocking right butt cheek to left butt cheek. And as you do that, maybe you even get some lateral movement through the spine. Maybe it's so much that it becomes sort of like a seaweed or wheat grass feeling through the spine. Maybe it becomes so much that you go down and you touch the floor. And you touch. And you touch. Or maybe it's both hands. Or up and over. Last six and five, four, three, two more. Ah. Finding your center, dropping your head, let that kind of uh, sink you a bit into it. So no need to stay up straight, just drop your head. Sink. Let your right ear rock over to right shoulder and let that lift you up and take a look somewhere. Let it sink, find your center. Left ear finds left shoulder. Let that lift you up as you take a look somewhere. Sink. Rock and lift, look. Sink. Rock, lift, look. Sink. Last one. Center. Lift your left arm up. Let your left hand either touch your head or if you can get there, left hand touches right ear. Right hand goes down and you do a side bend over there. Head sinks into hand or head pushes into hands, dependent upon where you're at. And all the way up. Other side, lift either here or here, stretching over. One more. Last one. Finding your center. Without moving any bones in the body. Let the eyes begin to scan the room. So we're right back to sort of that orientation, but we're saying no bone movement. How slow can my eyes begin to look around the space? Just my eyes. What areas do I skip over? And then instead, keep my eyes softly focused on whatever's in front of me. Let my nose begin to look around the room. and then relax. Put your hands on your heart. Take a nice deep inhale into your own heart. Tell yourself, thank you for showing up today. You did a really good thing. Tell your space, everything you looked at, everything you touched, tell your space, thank you. Your workout would have been different today in a different space. And then tell your community, anyone you see on screen, anyone in the room with you, dogs, cats, small animals included, 
Thank you for being a part of your community and thank you for being a part of ours. I'll stick around for just a moment. And if not, I'll see you the rest of the week. Bye everyone. Thank you everyone. Okay, looks like we don't have any comments. I appreciate it. We'll see you soon.